Here is an inexpensive way to cut the 5 8 inch tenons on sticks. And the 5 8 inch diameter tenon is the most common size in a stick chair. A typical stick chair that I have will make have 26 5 8 inch tenons and four that are about an inch in diameter. So the cheap way to do it is to start with a chamfer slash deburring tool. And this is a metalworking tool that chamfers the ends of bolts. It's designed for cutting steel. You can buy these for less than $10 and they, they uh, cut really well. So first I'm gonna make sure that the stick is level in the vise. Then I'm going to use the chamfer deburring tool and I'll level this even though it doesn't make a huge difference at this stage. And I just want a little point. I don't want a pencil. I don't need a pencil, but I can tilt it and correct it and get it perfectly centered. Then I take the chamfer deburring tool out and I put in a 5 8 inch plug cutter. These are fairly inexpensive. They can be had for anywhere from $10 uh, to $40. And they um, cut a plug or a tenon. Now we chamfered the end of this so that it would enter the mouth of the plug cutter. If we didn't point that, if we didn't put that chamfer on there, this would just skitter all about and make a mess of things. So I am going to again level the drill and I'm going to make sure that I am in line with the stick and then I'm going to go forward instead of back. So that makes a perfect 5 8 inch tenon that is about 2 and 3 16 long. But as you can see, it makes kind of a dog's dinner of the shoulder. So I'm going to show you how to clean that up with a block plane and a knife. So now I just press it up against a stop. This can be a piece of wood that's clamped in your vise. And I take a block plane and I clean that shoulder up. So I'm making tapering cuts so my stick will taper down to the tenon. But I don't want to go all the way to the tenon. I want to get just a whisper away from it. And the reason is because I don't want to cut away any of the tenon with the block plane that would uh, make the tenon less strong and fit worse. All right, so that's the last little bit. You can use this as it is if you like it. I mean, it doesn't look horrible and from you know five feet away, it looks pretty darn good, but you can take a knife and you can finish the blending. So this is just, you know, your typical Sloyd knife. And you can come in here and just take a couple strokes to blend that last little bit of the shoulder. All the way around. And if I do this with a knife, I won't cut into the tenon and reduce its strength. And it gives a little kind of you know, chip, chippy, heart, handmade look here. And that's it. So that is a perfect 5 8 inch tenon that's about 2 and 3 16 long. If I want to make it, make it shorter, if I only need uh, an inch or whatever, I just cut off uh, what I don't need. <laughs>